We have a program in us, and it was built genetically, first of all, before we were even born. Do you know, our life unfolds just like a rose. I use as an example an acorn. Someone carved this, I suppose, and gave it to me, and it's probably carved out of oak. But this is a model acorn. Do you know, an acorn has inside of it a pattern plan. That pattern plan controls the vibratory rate of the acorn. So the acorn can only grow into one thing what it's programmed to grow into. Well, you know, we have a program much like the pattern plan that's in the acorn. Only the people that wrote the code for that acorn really did not know what they're doing. They really didn't know what they're doing. So another way to look at this could be, this is an owner's manual for a new human being. And since the people that brought us into this world really didn't program us for the life that we want, we've got to rewrite the program. Now, I'm going to show you how to write the code to create the program to live the life you really want to live. Think of this for a moment. Have you ever wondered why really brilliant people are struggling all the way from the cradle to the casket. You think they're so smart. Why aren't they rich? If they're so bright, why are they working so hard for so little, for so long? See, there's answers to those questions. I was puzzled. When I was 26 years old, I had um, I'd been doing what a lot of people did, nothing. I was going in the wrong direction. And I often say I was picking up speed, but I was definitely going in the wrong direction. And I left school, I only went to high school for a couple of months. And I, uh, I never had a half decent job. I was 26 years old, and I met a man that sat down with me and he said, Bob, why don't you change your results? Well, you know, results were something I never really thought about. Take a look at how happy are you? What kind of money are you earning? How do you spend your days? Who are you mixing with? What are your friends like? You know, that's all dependent on this code that we've got within us, this program. Because everything that comes into our life comes in in an orderly way. See, this acorn can only grow into an oak tree. It'll never grow into a maple tree or a cherry tree. It can only grow into an oak tree. And that is because the acorn does not have the ability to rewrite the code. And it'll always only grow into one thing, an oak tree. We have a program in us. And it was built genetically, first of all, before we were even born. This, if you stop and really think about your life, why you're doing what you're doing, why you're living the way you're living, why don't you live the way you really want to live, you're going to realize that you have been programmed by your parents, first of all, genetically. That's how you got here. Now, what I really learned through that is that a person's life can change very fast. It doesn't have to take years or months or even weeks. It can change just like that. But it doesn't happen by accident. It happens by law. This whole universe operates by law. It operates in a very orderly way. Like winter never follows winter. Think about it. When the tide goes out, it always comes back in. Well, this is an expression of the laws that govern the universe. Well, you know, you and I can learn these laws. And then we can learn how to live in harmony with them. And when we do, everything starts to happen in a very good way. Now, think of this for a moment. I have this on my desk all the time. And I have it there for a reason. Let the sand represent your life. The sand in the bottom of the glass would represent the past. The sand in the top of the glass would represent the future. Now, there's nothing you can do about the past. That is gone. 
Too many people spend their time living there, wishing they had done this or wishing they had done that. It's gone. And here's the beautiful truth. Let me use the Born Rich or the Think and Grow Rich book here to show you, you don't know how much sand is in the top of the glass. Now you may think you have a lot, you only have a little. When I was a little kid, my grandmother pretty well raised me and grandma was always saying, I'll soon be gone, dear, I'll soon be gone. She started that, I think, probably when I look back, she would probably be in her 60s. You know, grandma lived to be 94. And one night the angels came and just took her away. I don't think grandma ever even gets sick. See, grandma thought she had a little bit of sand in the top of the guy. She actually had quite a bit, another 34 years. Now, I had a friend of mine, Bob Yates. He and I hung around together and we did most everything together. When he was 16, he turned 16 a little ahead of me. He got a driver's license and he was coming in a highway and bang, he ran into the abutment of a concrete bridge and his life was snuffed out like that. It was a real shock at that age of my life. If you had asked Bob a half hour before how much sand he had left, he probably would have said at least a half a century. He didn't have a half an hour. What's the point here? Here's the point. The only time you've got is right here, right now. So being worried about the past or the future is foolish. If we make up our mind, we're going to do what we feel is the best thing for us right now, we're going to have a pretty good life. 